You can create a package like NumPy, but first, you must understand what's needed to create a package in Python. A package is a collection of files bundled together, containing functions, classes, and other reusable code. And to make things simple, let's actually create a package. We'll build a decimal binary converter, a package that converts decimal numbers to binary and vice versa. Sounds good? Let's dive in. A Python package isn't just a single file, it's a well-structured collection of files. So this is how our decimal binary converter package will look. At first, this might look overwhelming, but don't worry. Let's break it down step by step. The first file we need inside our package folder is dunderinit.pi file. This file tells Python that this folder is a package. It can be completely empty, but it's often used to make imports easier. For our package, let's add this statement. This way, users can simply import like this. Instead of doing this, next we need this file. This is the most important file. It's where the actual conversion logic goes. There can be multiple files like this. Okay, let's add some functions inside this file that will convert decimal to binary and binary to decimal. Python packaging is evolving, and this file is now the preferred way to define package metadata and build dependencies. Why? Because it standardizes package builds, ensuring tools like pip handle installations consistently across environments. And there's no need for requirements file too. This is how we define it for our package. This replaces the older setup.pi file. By using pyproject.toml, we ensure our package follows modern standards, making it future-proof and easier to maintain. Next up, a readme.md file. A good readme helps users understand what your package does and how to use it. If you're sharing your package publicly, adding a license is a good idea. The MIT license is common, and it basically says, do whatever you want, but don't blame me if something breaks. Testing is important. So, inside the test folder, we write scripts to check if our package works correctly. This is a good practice. All right, once our package is ready, we need to build and publish it. First of all, we need to install some dependencies to get started. After that, we need to build a source code file and binary distribution wheel, then upload it to the Python package index. And boom, our package is live for the world to use. So, that's everything you need to create a Python package. Give a thumbs up if this helped, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.